Hi everyone and welcome back to Lunch with Libert. This is the first one of the month. On the first and the third Wednesday of every month at noon central, we do the realtor version of Lunch with Libert. So we're gonna be helping realtors with systems, productivity, business planning, all that good stuff. And then on the second and the fourth Wednesday of every month, of course, we have the consumer edition, working with home buyers, sellers, and investors, uh, educating them on the market and on uh, the market uh, conditions and the future as well. So today what we're talking about is systems and tools, tracking tools for realtor productivity. Um, a lot of us now work from home. Uh, you know, you don't know necessarily what your home office should look like or your desk if you work from, from an office. It's very easy to try to live in the cloud and then maybe not necessarily always be seeing all the numbers and all the activity you need to be seeing every day. So I've kind of tried to remain over the years a visual person. A lot of top producers, if you go around to their offices, I'm lucky enough to be in a program called Core that uh, we fly around the country to see some of the most uh, productive agents within the program and what they do and almost all of them have these big marker boards up and you'll see and I've been doing this for years and I'm at no means the level of production that some of these people at the top of the core are but I noticed that all these people have some things in common and what it is is yes you need to live in the cloud but you have to have a home space a home office whether that's at your real office or at your um, home that's going to be tracking all this stuff. So I'm gonna kind of lay this out. This is my office. Uh, for those of you guys that know, I was out of town the last couple days for my birthday, uh, but we tried to clean it up and get it uh, as much as possible uh, to show you exactly what I do day in and day out. So if it looks a little rough around the edges, that's because I've been gone a couple days, but it should look a little lived in because this is gonna be your office. So in my office, I have space for me, then the people that I uh, work with, coach as well as uh, clients. So we'll start over here at this corner. And I think you have to start in general with what is your vision? I think if it's all about just the numbers that you're doing right now, it's very easy to burn out, particularly if you're having a great time or a tough time. So we start off with the vision board. Uh, you guys have heard me talk about vision boards before. This is my vision board. I can sit here and look at it if I'm having a frustrating day, a good day, a bad day. And uh, my vision board, I've actually done it on a marker board. Some people do it on poster board. Mine kind of lives with me over time. So if you see the blue numbers or the blue information, that is the things that I wanted originally that I was shooting for. And then now the brown things, that's some updates. That's some numbers, market updates. Um, number one extra office in US, we were lucky enough to get that recently. We're now moving on to some other stuff here in the blue. So you as a, as a agent want to be saying, okay, yes, it is some material things out there, but it's also lifestyle, charity work. What do you want to do over time? Not just today, not just your production, but what do you want to do for your future? So we always start with that. Um, this is where I kind of have someone part-time if they need to come in and do some work for me, then we call that RP1 in the core. Uh, they can sit there and kind of also see what I'm trying to do. The next things we've got, we've got two things. This is a schedule day by day for what me and my team is supposed to be doing. Obviously, not every day is perfect, but we wanna to try to keep this as much as possible. Um, it's called a weekly planner. You really don't necessarily need a weekly planner when you've also got your monthly marketing calendar. I wanna show you in, uh, again in a second, but if you've got a larger team, you may need this. Uh, what we do is by the day, Mondays, VIP and top 50s. Tuesday, status updates. Wednesday, hot leads, that's calling leads back, uh, trying to get in touch with them. Thursdays, uh, database and past clients, getting in touch with your past clients. And Fridays, business people. So these are, if you're saying, who should I be talking to every day? This is reminding me where I need to go. Let's talk about one other thing over here first. Um, income streams monthly, I put this up. Some people will actually physically have their income streams tracked month by month. So there is a version of this that is 12 months laid out and it will have the four categories, or however many categories you need, and then it'll say January, February, March, April, May, and it'll have 12 months. Um, I didn't have room for that in my office, and quite frankly, some of my numbers, I don't necessarily um, always know them right away, but I should, and mine are being kept in my Blue Beast, which is a, a binder I'm gonna show you in a second. But I do wanna at least remind myself, I don't wanna just be talking about commission income, that's big, but I also wanna talk about residual and team income, fix and flip income, and buy and hold income because as a real estate agent, I can't imagine you would not eventually on your vision board and et cetera, be wanting to not just sell a lot of real estate, but be investing in real estate and building your team as well. That's really what we're trying to focus on with our agents at Exit Strategy. So let's go on to the next. Um, one of the things that really irritates me sometimes about us as an industry is I think we put together some great plans and then we never look at the plan again or we find it in a desk drawer six months or a year later along with a stale candy bar. You can't do that. So we use some three big items here at Exit. 
Uh, at our office, we use a time block calendar, reminding you where, again, where you should be. So you've got that two hours a day for lead generation. You've got time to return calls, things like that. Business plan, your desk. So this is right here in my little office here. This isn't probably more than 100 square feet in here, 10 by 10 room. I've got my business plan, I've got my time block calendar, and I've got my 411 breaking down my yearly goals in all the categories that are important. So job, business, personal, finance, and personal. By the way, I have a blog on this, just like I have a blog on the vision board on my LinkedIn. If you guys uh, want further information on any of this, this is just an overall overview of what an office should look like. Um, and then I've got on that 411 my monthly goals and my weekly to do our task list. It shouldn't really be a task list, but it is a reminder of what I need to do that week towards the monthly and yearly goals. These sit here waiting for me. So if I'm sitting here going, well, what, what did I say was I going to do? I'm off focus. I'm not on, we're on point. I can sit there and look at these. I can look at my vision board and go, here were my goals. Here was my long-term, even bigger goals. And I'm, I'm kind of reconnecting with them. The next thing that I always have up is my uh, marketing planner. Now, this, uh, my 12-month marketing plan, in all honesty, the first year it looked more like a vacation calendar. It is not a vacation calendar. It is your 12-month marketing plan. What are you going to be doing consistently? A lot of agents say they market to their database, they talk to their database. Do they really, on a consistent basis, is it organized, or do they do it when they remember to? We're going to break people of that with a 12-month marketing calendar. So it's got all 12 months laid out for you. And it's, okay, what are you going to do when? And you're going to do the same things consistently. So for example, and I'm, I've got another uh, YouTube video on LinkedIn about this as well. So you don't need to wait for all the details here. They're on my resource channels. But uh, for example, here we are in April. The newsletter, our newsletter came out on Tuesday. You had to finish it on Monday. That comes out every month on the first Tuesday, so you know it. We do a social media boost. So you've got your open houses over the weekend or price reductions, new listings that have just come up. Boost those on your social media. Those paid boosts, those are gonna come out every Friday. Um, every, the first Monday of every month, it's Mailer Mondays, I'm sorry, the second Monday of every month. Mailer Mondays, we do it to our farm. The third Monday of every month, we do our just listed and just sold cards. So a lot of people say, oh, I wanna do those, but I keep forgetting to do them. Put it in your calendar for a consistent time every month. At our office, we have these labeled in red on our, on our office calendar, so you're reminded to do it. You can get the graphic design work into your graphic designer. Our office, we have one on staff for free. Then what other media are you gonna do? You're always gonna to wanna to be talking in other media as well. You can't just do a monthly newsletter by email and hope that sticks. That's a lot of people opt out. They're just not as uh, vital as they used to be. It's a baseline, but it's not your only line of communication. So we do on the second Thursday of every month, we do a video. Now, if you guys know me, I do a lot more videos than that. But what I wanted to do was create a monthly marketing calendar that even a part-time agent can stay with. So we do a video on the second Thursday of every month, a blog, so that may be on LinkedIn, that may be on something else uh, that can be connected to all your social media, that is on the third Thursday of every month. And then finally, on the last Wednesday of the month, or the fourth Wednesday of the month, this month I did have to move it because we have a big uh, a party at our office, but you want some sort of event for your database to pick up the phone and invite them to an educational event. Um, later in the year, for example, there's pumpkin carvings, there's turkey giveaways, anything you want to do to say, hey, you're my VIP, you're in my core group of people, um, I want to celebrate you. So these are the things that they take time. You can't just pop these up out of nowhere. You have to plan ahead. So if you're consistent in when you're going to do them month after month, the same day every month, you know about it, and here it visually is over 12 months, so you actually start putting notes by. So this event, well maybe this month it's gonna be a party, next month it's gonna be a seminar, a book club. You don't know that till you start looking at these long terms, and then yes, you can plan your vacations around all this stuff uh, too, but this can't be a vacation calendar like I did at the first year. Um, next up, we have monthly appointment settings. So this is how I track my appointments. So if you don't, if you have your monthly calendar, and you're saying to people, here, I'm so busy, I'm so busy. Well, are you busy in the deals you're currently doing or are you going out and showing clients new properties? So this tracks when you're taking buyers out, when you're taking listing appointments. So I have my buyers in green. So anytime I take a buyer out, I track it. When I got bigger and I had a team, I now track who in my, on my team is taking that buyer out. So when a buyer goes out with me, when a seller uh, comes, when I come to a seller for a listing appointment, then also when I get that listing appointment, uh, and I also track my pending sales and closed deals. So I do green for buyers, I do blue for listings, and I do red for sales pending and sales close. I put a check mark by something when it actually happens, so when I get a new listing signed versus a listing appointment, then I put a check, 
And then when I have a closing versus a sale pending, they're both in red, but the closings have a check mark. For those of us that are building teams, are always interviewing for teams and looking for opportunities to expand and grow our team, um, I track those in black. So when I'm meeting somebody new and I'm interested in talking to them and they actually come in for an appointment, uh, they're in black, I note their name. And then when they actually come on board, I write their name down again that day that they sign up with a check. So a lot of activity. If you're sitting here going, I don't have a lot of money coming in the door, why is that? It's probably because you don't have appointments. So we talked earlier about the time block calendar, about the marketing plan, all of this as we move over here, it's trying to get you on appointments. Because once you get on appointments, you should actually be having transactions. And so that over here is why I have all my deals, all my buyers in one filing cabinet or filing stack, stacking files over here, manila folders. Now, a lot of people say, oh, well, that's old school. No, there shouldn't be any paper in the office. Okay, I get it. Maybe you are so organized that you can do everything online. Well, then you better go into every morning and open up your buyers, file your buyer drive and Google Drive. And by the way, I use Google Drive for everything. So in some of these, there may not be a lot of paperwork because everything is saved to Google Drive at this point. However, I find it visually still important to see everything that's going on. So all my buyers here that are not yet under contracts. So I got a lot of buyers right now. If I'm having a slow day, if that calendar I just showed you, that appointment calendar is slow, I say, hey, I pick up the phone, or I text somebody and I say, you know what, hey, I haven't seen you in a while, some good stuff coming up on the market, let's go out. What's your availability? Here's mine. Same way with listings. I want to remember all my listings. What's going on with my listings right now? When, uh, when was the last time I did an open house? All that kind of stuff you can track online, of course, but I visually like to see what I've got going on. Then pending deals. So this is deals that are under contract. If this is starting to get thin, if there's not a lot over here, I better be looking over here for help. Sell some more of my listings, get some more of my buyers out there. Finally, the last thing I'll show you, I keep this open at my desk. Now you're not gonna be able to see it too closely here, but I have my lead tracker and my greatness tracker. My lead tracker and my greatness tracker opened up right next to each other. So I can sit on my computer with my Google Calendar and my Gmail, and I can sit here with my lead tracker and my greatness tracker. My greatness tracker is tracking my activities and I can sit here and say, who do I need to interact with today? I wanna to track it. I wanna track my incoming leads so I know who I need to follow up with five to seven times in order to get business. And my greatness tracker, that's tracking outbound events, conversations, things that I'm doing uh, on video, personal notes, uh, break breads, pop buys, all of that is tracked here. So I can sit here and this is my entire business in a nutshell yeah. and I know how to stay on track. So thank you guys very much. Uh, feel free to leave comments in the uh, comment section. I'll try to get back to you guys. And we will see you here next week for Lunch with the Library again.